Hello Buzzcuts, my name is Hotsus T and welcome back to Factorio, where last time we prepared a few of these uh, production science bottles, exactly 1500, which is what we need for our Coverex enrichment. So uh, let's head up here uh, to our science lab and find the right station where we have to put this in. It's this one here. So with that we can kick off this research for the enrichment, but uh, we also have prepared all the other materials, or I hope we have prepared all the other materials that we need for a quad core uh, nuclear reactor. It should be up here somewhere. In here, we have centrifuges and the, um, and the uh, actual reactors and then everything else in here and the number of, of items that I have here is based on a blueprint actually we can have a look at that blueprint it's this one but I think we will try to come up with a layout of ourselves um, however, what we probably still need is, oh no, I have them, a few substations, um, to connect everything together. And looking at the map, we have one uranium field down here, one there, and a bit a larger up here. This one is a bit too close to nests down here, so maybe let's not yet expand in, in that direction. Um, I ventured out uh, to various uh, nests up here and there, and with the, with the current setup it was a bit of, uh, of a struggle to, uh, to not die. And I think we will focus on this smaller patch here uh, to mine that and then to also have the power plant right here. Even though uh, in this series we could transport the uranium ore by rail to uh, wherever we have the, the reactor, but I don't think that's, that's really uh, needed. Um, and uh, when we need a bigger reactor, we can put it then uh, probably up here, uh, which both of these locations are ideal because they are near water, which we also require for our, um, for our reactor. But what we also need is... A rail grid. So let's add that here. And that should be uh, sufficient. Uh, of course, I then have to uh, lay down all the, the rails for that uh, and this is still a dead end so let's make our way uh, down there lay some rails uh, and then we can add some uh, some miners and uh, some processing uh, to go along with that. We made it with our railway all the way to this patch and aside 
from the rail that we need to deliver for sulfuric acid and I think uh, iron for the iron plates that we need for the fuel cells we also need it for the the power system so that's really handy and if we look at this uh, I think we leave this area uh, blank so no rail connection there because I'm thinking uh, we need this uranium field then we have uranium processing up here and then we can have the reactor here on this side uh, where we can even out this uh, this coastline here a bit um, so we have easy access to place the pumps but let's add the the where did i put the blueprint for the mining up oh, there it is um we want this to go this way and some more there and there and then a last row here that's one two three four five which means we need a five to a one. I'm missing one here. Um, and it's a four to four. Um, I think I can build that one from memory. Uh, I need a, a five to one. This one. Let's put that up here. And then move cliffs. And let's first uh, connect these things up because we then also need to uh, hook up the pipes for the sulfuric acid. Um, to a station where we can deliver it so let me quickly finish that then we can have a look at the delivery uh, system and finally uh, the processing of the ore so we can get uh, uranium fuel cells out of it uh, as the end product we are getting there we have connected up all our miners with belts and pipes we even have um, unloading station here that can hold up to three train here in the stack so maybe next we want to grab this train here that one goes to here and then to here full cargo empty cargo and go and i think one for now will be will be sufficient and we have to to hurry a bit because the coal field up here is low so we don't have a full belt anymore which means not all of our uh, power plant gets supplied with coal and we know if we uh, run full tilt with research and so on we will not have enough power however now that we are not researching uh, that means we are not using the, the the full power that we could produce but uh, we have our first uranium ore here on the side and 
actually we do not necessarily need the, the refinement step because as it turns out uh, for one nuclear reactor we need about one one centrifuge um, but as we have it we will use it and we will have five of those here input 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 output 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 and then we need the long-handed insert just there I just have them uh, opposite because it's easier to build and then we need power that should do it nice and then up here um, we will have a filter these um, we will have so many here on this side and then have output here and I think on here we just need the one so here and small power pole to connect that and then This is then basically where we bring the things back together. With a uh, last one, this one will be like this. There we want to have a stack inserters. And here we have the output. So actually that goes in this direction. Uh, we need a splitter. Um, here we say this and we will make it that way and then well, let's make it the other way actually because then we have the light green he on here and if this this belt is full cannot be placed on it and here let's make this a bit wiggling this way And that way we can add the dark green on here and if they come up here they cannot be uh, uh, put on the belt from here so 
here of course we need power and then here we need a filter inserter here we want to grab any excess of these and with these uh, we can have those ones right and from here we only grab these ones but we grab those from there and then we need one furnace for the uh, for the iron and then we can have basically an uh, iron unloading station on here let's make that iron or delivery signal here signal there also signal here um, we want to unload fast and then have it go from there from normal inserters to here and here and that should all work out nicely uh, here of course we need this and that and power this one enable one and with all of these we have actually connected them up like so then let's just copy this one Nice. And uh, 13,000, that's about the amount that we can store in those chests. So we have another train, oh, we have a train coming, but it will be a while uh, until we can actually uh, produce the first, the first nuclear cell because we need to kick off the uh, enrichment first and while we wait for that I will clean out this area down here uh, make a clean coastline so we can then place our nuclear reactor down. I cleared a bit of space out here and while looking at the map this might be a problem because uh, pollution does travel quite unhindered uh, over over water but maybe the, the pollution cloud will not extend that much um, and if it does we will have to deal with it but now let's actually grab that blueprint um put it down and then basically remove everything save the the core part here um, we can remove this and that right uh, also the heat pipes here and then have the core here 
And let's also remove those. And have the inserters placed down because then we basically have the uh, the recipes set set on those and what i ideally would like here is having underground belt going from one side to the other but at least with uh, with the red ones we are not there yet so what we will do instead is have adult going around like this and probably have something like this um, like so here we get the, the new things in and here we get the old things out but we need to hook up uh, our uh, power station and that's where I want to do things a bit differently this time. Let's add at each corner a pipe going out. And here we have to see uh, how, how we actually uh, manage. We can figure out the, the, the belt situation later, I think, uh, because to get this as, as optimal as, as possible, we should have um, the uh, heat exchanges as close together as possible. And we need a total of 46, so 48. So 48 divided by four is 12 on each corner. And if we divide that uh, on the two sides, that's basically six on each side. That's 10. And that's our, uh, our 12 there. Then we add these here. And there we can see here on this side, we run into a problem because we cannot add uh, all the all the the turbines here but not to worry because uh, we will add a pipe here in the middle I'm making this up as as I go and then because we also want to to store the uh, excess steam so we can even out fluctuation because the nuclear reactor uh, burns the whole fuel cell independent of is power currently required or not then here on this side 
Well, maybe we have to go a bit out anyway. Um, so we can actually have uh, here on the sides um, these, these two things out. So let me figure out a layout that we can actually do in, in this fashion. And then uh, up until that point, maybe we have the first fuel cell, maybe not, but we should be closer than we are currently. I have built a thing here that's a bit different than the usually design I do. Uh, for one, uh, not this uh, uh, symmetrical build towards two sides, uh, not using any logistic robots, and uh, it's almost symmetrical. We have basically this part here going on three of the sides and then only here it gets a big bit wacky because we need to squeeze in the uh, belt uh, for supplying and removing the, the fuel cells but we can do that in this small two space so that basically only leaves off one turbine that we cannot directly have there and of course uh, a few tanks uh, that we also had to move around everything should be hooked up and what i did here was uh, disconnect um, disconnect half the mining because we are encroaching here yeah they are already eating our pollution which is not great so eventually they will come and knock on our door i'm unsure if they will, there is a way this way around or if they have to go the long way around um, probably we will find out in due time but maybe until the, that time we have enough energy um, to to have managed uh, some some better defenses uh, and to finish off this episode uh, let's wait until we get uh, this baby going uh, so that we can actually put out some fuel cells and see if this whole thing works or if it was a huge failure. We have them, so let's turn this inserter and see how this whole thing works out. Uh, we did have one biter pretty early on that's why down here we have some uh, turrets but apparently uh, the biter was discouraged um, and it was actually the only one so hopefully this will hold out still a bit because i don't think we are yet strong enough um, to really rush out and and uh, take the four steer but we have some action going in here in the uh, reactors the first two are already supplied um, the last two as well and at this point uh, all of them have um, have five uh, cells in them so no more are inserted um, and the problem that we might have here is that the uh, used uranium cells are also put on the uh, outside of the belt there um, so 
maybe if we do this, they end up on the other side of the belt and uh, we do not run into conflict if we have a full belt of uh, fresh cells uh, uh, we can then still place the, the used ones on the belt and with the uh, reactor heating up we should soon see um, if we actually are producing power or if this was all a big failure and we have the first steam coming out on all sides here and i think yes we even have enough power here on uh, well no that's actually fed in here through through the back we need at least 500 degrees for those i think um let's go in here 500 degrees we need we have that We have that up to this point. So they should be working and we do not have that high uh, a power consumption. So that's why we uh, store a lot of the steam currently in the, the tanks there. So we should not see too much production going on for now but with this out of the way we can really think about uh, what we want to use all this excess power um, and do good things in the next episode. Alright, until then, goodbye!